Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Um, I recently had to build a couple of urns uh, for my sister and I. You know, my father passed away late last year. Um, and I wanted mitered corners. I'll put a picture of them up on the screen. Um, and the Harvey did a great job. Uh, I was able to get the pieces done. Um, but it really kind of let me know I needed a dedicated sled to build some of these smaller boxes. So that's what's going to be up next. Um, I'll give all the plans and the measurements and all that stuff as kind of as we go because I'm building this a little bit on the fly. Uh, it will have a base, it will have some T-Track in it. Normally this whole thing could be built in a day, but I have some T-Track on order because I didn't have enough to do this project. So uh, I'll be spread out over a couple days. It's not a complicated build. It's going to run on one runner. Uh, it'll be a dual purpose sled. So it'll have the 45 off of one end to do those mitered corners uh, with some lockdowns. And then I'm also going to build a kind of a piece that sits in the middle to do the splines uh, right off of the same sled. And you'll be able to lift this piece on and off. Um, but we're gonna start by go ahead and, and attaching the runner. Uh, and I'll show you how to do that in just a second. But before we do that, I've got all the, the fence material. This is all three inch uh, Baltic birch plywood, three quarter inch by three inch Baltic birch. And I've got it all oversized right now. Um, and I'm going to use two pieces for each face. So I'm going to get those glued up and then we'll go over and attach this runner at the table saw. So most of us in our shops have made runners for the table saw before, so I'm not going to go into how to make and size runners. Um, and I personally, I use this HDPE stuff uh, just because I think it it works just fine and it's not it's not so prone to the seasonal wood movement and whatnot. Uh, I'm going to start by laying a few washers down in here and set the runner right down on top. I'm going to get some CA glue and I already have my fence for where I want this miter slot. So my blade will come up and actually leave, be able to cut my 45 on the end and that's where I'll cut the board off. Let me get some CA glue on here just to hold this whole thing in place. And then I will pull it out and get some screws on the underside. And I like to use the fence because it just helps keep everything square. So we're just going to let this sit for a couple of minutes and then we'll flip it over and get some screws put in it. You got to be careful because with the HDPE, if you squeeze those too tight, they will actually expand the plastic. So next up, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut the 45 on this end. Um, so let me get the table saw set up and I'll show you what we're doing. So I like to use this little Wixley gauge to set up for perfect 45s at the table saw. Okay, so while I wait for T-Track to show up so I can set up to cut the dados in that, I can go ahead and start getting the spline jig portion glued up. Uh, this is just two pieces of Baltic birch plywood that will fit inside of there. 
and I'm going to use these square clamping jigs to help me get it there. I'm going to get this glued up and get a couple of screws in it and then clamp it and let it all cure up. So there's a couple other things I can do uh, while I'm waiting for the T-Track to, to show up. Um, I can get these cleaned up. Uh, they, they came out pretty close, um, but we'll get those cleaned up at the table saw in just a minute. In the meantime, I made, well, I made eight of these blocks. Uh, these were three inch strips, just like the fence. They were just leftovers and I nipped the ends at 45. And they're gonna go in here like this. They're going to get glued and pin nailed in and then I'm going to drive a screw in them just to support them. Placement isn't super critical. Just so long as they get held in place. So the last thing I'm going to do to this is just glue this down um, and I'll put some screws in the bottom after this glue cures up to this little quarter inch uh, Baltic birch plywood here. Uh, and this will sit on the sled uh, when I want to use it and I'll use this edge right here to clamp down in the sled. So that's what's up next. I'm just going to get this glued down. I want to keep it as square as I can in here so that my splines in the future all come out square. And I'm just going to drop some weight in that and let that glue cure up and then I'll come and drop a couple of screws in the bottom. So next up is the T-Track in this base and yeah the T-Track did arrive. I have a dado stack set up in the saw roughly a three quarter inch dado stack which is what most T-Track is. Uh, and I've run a test fit and it all fits well. There's not really any side to side slop uh, and the height is good. So I'm going to put three tracks in the top. Now this is just for my saw. Your saw might be a little bit different. They're all on center and I'm going one and three quarters over, 10 and five eighths over, and 17 and five eighths over uh, to put those three tracks in. And the last cut that I'm going to make while I have this set up is I want to rabbit the top of the back fence so that a T-Track sits in there and I can set up stop blocks. Okay, so the front fence, I've cut the length of the sled, and then I've clamped it in place uh, just using some quick clamps, and I've done it where the T-Track is so I don't drive screws in that area. So all I'm going to do is pilot drill this and screw this in. The location of this one is not critical. I just made it flush with the front of my sled. Okay, so for the back fence, I left it long, overhanging the angled side. So that way I'll have nice support over here for cutting short pieces. But for this one, I'm only gonna drive screws in the two corners, and then we'll go square it up at the table saw. Um, I also added these little angle brackets just to make sure that that fence is perfectly square to the table itself. 
So all I'm gonna do is pilot drill and drive those two screws. So next up, I'm just gonna go ahead and run the kerf on the straight cut position so I can start adjusting this fence for square. So to square up the fence on this sled, I'm going to use the five cut method. I would encourage you all to go look at William Ng's video on the five cut method. Uh, he'll, he'll explain it way better than I do. Um, but that's what I'm going to do. So I've got a little piece of scrap plywood. We're going to go ahead and make our five cuts and see what our error is. Okay, so that reading is 8.61, and that backside reads 8.615, so that's five thousandths. Divided by seven inches, I think I can live with that. So now all I'm gonna do is screw this back fence in and this sled, and get the T-track put in, and this sled will be ready to go. All right, so the last thing I'm gonna do to this, before actually making something with it, is get a coat of wax on the bottom. I noticed it was a little bit sticky coming across the saw. And I also know it's about that time of year where my saw's due for some wax as well. So I'll go ahead and wax that up at the same time. And just like that, it is much better. So next up, I'll show you how it works. Okay, so the last step for this jig is just to cut a couple of splines. Now, I just clamped a couple of guide blocks on here. You could just as easily uh, put a T-track in here and have a stop block. I just find this easy because, you know, they're all over the place. So that's what I chose to do. But there's certainly nothing wrong with adding a T-track in here to set up a stop block in here. Okay, so there it is, guys. Uh, in hindsight, I really wish I would have added a piece of T-Track uh, to this face, and I may still do that. Um, it's easy enough to do, just a three-quarter inch router bit, set it up here on the, on the uh, face a bit, and set that in there uh, so that you have stop blocks along here. For me and what I do, it, it's not that big of a deal, but you might want to consider adding that piece of T-Track. So that's going to wrap it up for this one, guys. Uh, I hope you got something out of it. Let me know if you built it. Join my forums and, and show me your projects. Um, and hit my Amazon affiliate page. Uh, whatever it is, there's so many ways to get a hold of me. But until the next project, guys, take care.